Greetings fellow workshop specimen, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld the First Wendigo, episode 202, Incoming Infestation. So Stickiest Cross with Polog, or whatever their name is, yeah, Polog, is a three with flaws. So yeah, we're not keeping that. It again. So who could, who's a good mix for, so Maxu would be an excellent mix for an Edekin, because Maxu has everything but Edekin, Waster, and a little bit of Cold Tolerance. Uh, it's just a gamble. It's a big gamble, but Fang Face will do it. What's up your butt? Night Owl in daytime? Um, well, go to sleep, because you're scheduled. Jealous of Wendy's bedroom? Tough. Oh, but there is one complaint that is true. Get Neural Surge, you could do that. All right, this combo, is it any good? One, two, three, four, five with flaws, yeah. I think we are probably done with five flaw, unless they have really rare genes. So even these stored flawed fives, probably get rid of them, unless they're like fur skin and super immunity together, which is unlikely. So individuals that could mix with uh, Neanderthal, let's figure that out. So Neanderthal um, have the most genes I'm trying to inherit. So they have reduced pain, robust, strong melee damage, and cold tolerant. So I want people, I want a male that does not have those things. So Dave. Um, and let's sort by gender. The Well, obviously the two pigskins. Uh, Madsen could inherit two. Uh, not a lot of good choices. I mean, the um, the Neanderthal genome is pretty well represented in our pop base. Uh, Dave could inherit. So Dave or uh, yeah, maybe Dave, Dave or Guero. It's not going to be a great combo. Possibly Dom, but Dom already has reduced pain robust. And these are down to the females. So, Guero. You have sperm sample somewhere? Yeah, here they are. Let's do that. Dragon Dill. Misogynist. That's unfortunate. Okay, Wendy did the combo. So we have a one, two, three, four, five with two negatives. Nope. Let's try again. Elker. Oh, something big's happening. So I'm frozen. Spectacle of bugs. I'll take a look at that in a minute. Acidic. Staggering ugly asceticism. All right. Interesting, interesting combination. Don't really care. You're going to end up in a prison. So I guess you'll be happy in that prison. Uh, so this square combination, also a non-starter. It's a four with two negatives. Uh, so the other eggs we have is Nitro Leaks. So Nitro Leak, let's take a quick look at uh, what you are. So Nitro should mix with... Pigskin, Edikin, something like that. Sort by gender. Hmm. I could do a Nitro Maxu. I don't want to keep overusing Maxu, but you know, that it's a lot of genes. Scorpio, annoying voice, undergrounder with annoying voice. So you're like a little pipsqueak dirt mole. All right, this combination sucks. One, two, three negatives with one, two, three, four, five, six positives. Yeah, not good enough. Phantom. You've got them lovely super immune fur skin, so you are a really highly sought after hybrid. What can we trade? So fur skin super immune. So Apollo, let's have you do it. This is one of those like chance for a miracle combination. 
Uh, Val, you're just a super... Oh, no, this is Krabs' egg. Krabs, you could combine with... Someone with fast wound healing would to offset that would be not a bad idea. So I'll do Tordek. And then last but not least, we have a Tefluti. You're just a pig with some stuff. So any of the dirt all hybrids. Uh, so Guero had, Guero had sperm samples here. So I'll do a, a Guero to Flutie. Hey, bud. Any good? Wow. Very basic. Pig nose robust. That is a fail. The two eggs left. Zela got fast walker. Oh, that's pretty good. Nabla. Industrious, that's very good. Nimble and industrious, you're looking... Oh, but you're a prisoner, that sucks. Of course, cursed. Totally cursed. Apollo's combination is a three. However, it is a super immune fur skin three. So I am going to make an exception and keep it. As it has two of the rarest genes that I'm after. So it's basically just a phantom junior. Phantom is, uh, what, fast wound healing? So what did this inherit? This lost fast wound healing and picked up strong stomach. But it does have those two rare genes. So the last combination was Tordek, I think, coming in, right? Yeah. And then I'll know who to gestate. Come on, Tordek. Sometime this year, dude. What possibly could have taken you this... Like, were you digging through the snow in the top corner of the map? My lord. The males in the colony probably don't... The, the prisoner males, I should say, probably don't need their... Um, their sperm... Uh... Harvested anymore. I probably have a pretty good supply of that, so. Not Maxu, not Madsen, not Guero, not Shell Bell. Those are the only males? So, Tordek, what is it? Four with a flaw, okay. Haul it to the rejects pile. Uh, so, I'm gonna grow the Phantom Apollo. Because it's, uh, it's maybe only three, but it's a really special three, as far as I'm concerned. And then, um, this is a five. So the other one is going to be one of the six, I think. Dave Tordak or Elabear Tordak. Hmm. Maybe I'll actually pick from the five stock. So we do have a super immunity here. Got another one there. Got a third. So super immunity is becoming increasingly more common, it seems. So I'll do this for skin. So there's the two eggs that I'm going to pick. And Wendy will get those filled into the vets. So next goal. You guys suggested expanding barracks. Build a wealth vault. Um... Open the ancient danger. Improve T Sang and Cactus's genome or uh, xenogenes. Or do the bug quest. That will be one I add. So the bug quest here, Spectacle of Bugs, is 61 hives, but it does include Resmex Serum, which I don't have. Uh, it also has a Persona Sword that has Neural Cooling, and it's Masterwork, so that's not bad. And a Fear Bender, which is Mad Wailing Painless. Okay, that's less unfortunate, or less fortunate. But um, but yeah, uh, do the bug quest, or, or rather, I'm going to say do one of the offered quests. 
as the fifth choice. So that will be either the reward of combat or the spectacle of bugs. So next goal, your pick. So this one needs to get stored. It is a five, so I can just put it right back to where that slot opened up. Perfect. All eggs sorted, all vats filled, done. Vote for goal. Ooh, a logging site. 2,000 wood. 26 people. That's a... That's a big logging site. It's a lot of loggers. I wonder what loggerheads taste like. Mmm, loggerheads. And I'm not talking about turtles. so much human meat that I'm uh, I don't even have anywhere to store it so if I do want to continue butchering uh, human likes I'm going to need to make some shelving for it. How many corpses are we down to? Last I checked for corpse count we were like 5 something so we're, we're below the 500 mark oh my god that we have so many corpses precious precious delicious corpses I'm gonna raise my chem fuel um, amount that I craft because we have a lot of rice now. So it'd be good to get an excess of chem fuel. I could put shelves in this midway cooler, yeah, and remove the corpses from here. Or most of the corpses from here, just have a small stockpile of corpses uh, to draw from for the butchery. That could be done. Again, it would likely have to be one of these goals, you know, to suggest that for me to uh, to try to process more of the uh, human meat and leather. Because doing something like that would require, uh, you know, a lot of manpower. Right, buddy? Or dog power in your case. One of my favorite goals up there um, got not as much love as I thought it would. Improving t sang and Cactus's Xenogenes uh, was one I particularly liked. I know, I know, I'm sticking my thumb on the scale, but that was a really good suggestion. Uh, the reason being, like, I could implant t sang because t sang is just a genie, right? I could do whatever I want. I could plant t sang with, like, Great Crafter who never sleeps and he's, like, very happy. So all he does is craft all day long and all night long and never stops. Same with, same with Cactus, but Cactus is more of a miner who I'm not currently using. So I might want to consider doing the same with Cactus um, instead of staying with a mining slave because he's a mining slave that like we um, established a long time ago and never retouched. There's a lot of gene work to be done with Cactus as well. But if I was to rework Cactus, I would probably want to get rid of the double drill arms if he's not to be a mining slave. So maybe leave him alone. Teasing definitely could be improved. Do I have all the genie jeans ripped? I believe I do, yeah. Yep, every single one. Got all of these. 
that have little hearts next to them if I didn't. I mean, I got all the ones I want. I don't think I have, like, thin body or beardless or no hair separated. But they don't do anything. They're just aesthetic. So I do have extra pain, delicate, dead calm, elongated fingers, poor plants, poor animals. Great craft, awful social, and great intellectual. Uh, looks like we're going to do one of the offer quests. So pick which quest. So we have rewarded combat. What quest to do? Or spectacle of bugs. So rewarded combat is... Uh, is killing a bunch of Edekin, two giant raids of Edekin for reinforced barrels, gold, archives capsules, plasteel, or cataphract armor, uranium, worth about 10k a piece. Spectacle of Bugs is worth about well less than that, but it's um, 61 hives. That's a lot of hives, but for honor, resmex serum, plasteel, a monosword, gold, or a plasma, uh, plasma, a Zeus hammer, har harmonizer, and uranium. Why are you chemically starving? Uh, are you addicted to something? Yes. Well, you're just uh, chemically fascinated, so you had a mental break. The Persona weapons. So the sword is neural cooling, uh, which decreases neural heat dissipation, or increases neural heat dissipation. Um, and then the Zeus Hammer is Mad Wailing Painless. So the Zeus Hammer is less sexy. The neural cooling is great does a ton of damage, but the only issue with it is um, the only one that really could benefit from neural cooling is either Wendy or Bry, and both, you know, neither of them really have need of that weapon. Bry's it isn't really a brawler, and Wendy is not about to become one. It's too bad free wielders, that would be a, a better uh, trade on there, but, you know, yeah, we don't get to pick. I'll take what I can get. Slowly chipping away at this slag. It's taking a long time. Oh, I must have a brownout. Yeah, I have some big brownout right now. So I have a bunch of uncontrolled mechs. Okay. Apollo, you're closest. You get to flick. I'm glad I have um, a nice giant backup battery bank. Just turn everything on and not worry about it. So I'm going to call this one early. It looks like we're doing spectacle bugs, but you guys have to pick with the reward because there's multiple. Oh, you know what? Uh, uh, Tangier's uh, age up freaked out too. I just saw he is like uber brawling ability. So that's got to be some sort of bug because there's no way he learned with no passions to be a legendary master with perfect passive prisoner gene. Um restricting his ability to even learn combat skills in the first place seems extraordinarily unlikely. So, I don't know what it is, but every now and then, we just have, like, babies that roll 20s. For no particular reason. Um, Alright, so the rewards for the Spectral Little Bugs. Uh, what reward for the bug quest? So we've got Honor, Res Serum, or let me write them out. 12 honor, two res, serum, and blast steel. We've got uh, master work, blade, and gold, or master work persona blade, and gold. I guess it's important to specify that it is persona. And uh, an excellent Zeus. Hammer, Uranium, and Harmonizer. All right.
The Zeus hammer is mad wailing and something else. What was the last other thing? Uh, painless. So don't feel pain, but like, you know, kind of go crazy. And the brownout is a result of an eclipse, a 16 hour eclipse. So I should have just turned on the backup batteries ahead of time, knowing that there was an eclipse. I barely notice eclipses now because most of the base is blacked out with roof. So it's hard to tell that there's even one going on. Uh, Eevee is ready to be scanned. Where are you? There you are. Prediction. Will I get something useful from Eevee? So, little reminder about Eevee. We're only really looking for unstoppable, awful art, or red eyes. Everything else I don't really care for. So one of those three will fulfill the the prediction. All the rest will not. If it's combined, it's technically still useful because I can try to split it with a base ladder. Does the Monosaur do more damage? Yes. Um, the highest DPS melee weapon in the game is Persona Monosaurs. So a legendary Persona Monosaur uh, does more damage than literally any other weapon in, in Rimworld. It's the highest DPS. This one's only Masterwork, but uh, as a comparison, this does um, 23 DPS with a armor pen of 121 uh, compared to Jack's Monosaur. It's 24 DPS. Actually, how is Jack's even higher? This is a Persona Monosword. Oh, is that because of the wielder, though? It might be factoring some uh, uh, extra stuff in. Because of the melee stats, exactly. Um, but yeah, they're, those swords do ridiculously high damage. You know, the type that in a swing or two, you chop up your target pretty quick. But it looks like the res serum is the reward. So uh, here's the other thing. Um, knowing that they're coming in before I accept the quest, uh, I want to deep freeze my ancient danger so that it is not a viable target for the infestation or at least a unlikely target for the infestation because I have a little bit of time to accept this I have seven days so I'm going to prep for the bug quest The uh, this freezer is too cold for bugs to spawn in uh, but this is not so I, I want to repair my ancient dangers to be spawn proof because I don't really want to like have them get destroyed or anything. Kind of annoying. Another thing I could do is um, I don't know if the my bugs are going to be particularly useful in this upcoming fight, but I can put the bug, uh, not bugs, my mechs, but I can put my mechs where the fight is likely to happen, which is uh, close to the area over there. And Sarai will be scanned next. So the only thing from a high maid is great social. It's the only thing I want to scan. So not likely I get it, but I'll have a prediction for that as well once Evie's done. It is going a little crazy. <laughs> Why are you still uncontrolled? There's some like weird lag time with the uh, band nodes. It says Bryza has insufficient bandwidth, but that's like simply not true. Uh, I don't, I don't know why that keeps happening. Because you know he has a bandwidth of eight. The War Queen costs five, the Tunneler costs three. Uh, doing that very simple math, I have plenty of bandwidth, yet somehow 
it's not controlled. Maybe I'll just have uh, Wendy take control of Die for now, just so it stops being a recurring issue every time I have a brownout. Because it it's kind of annoying to have like an uncontrolled War Queen one around in my base. Is Wendy's Deathrest Chamber uh, proof? Yeah, well, it uh, it is, yeah. It's it's cold enough that it, it won't spawn bugs. And Wendy, let's have you construct over everything else. Yeah, she's already doing that. Perfect. So she's just trying to make everything sensitive bug proof so that it doesn't become victim of the quest. So I'll probably prop the doors open and have the vents on so that all these things get super cold. I, you know, I could try turning it on off and on again. Yeah, I could have done that to flick the band nodes state. <laughs> that could work. And call me by, you want me to use the pulser on the bugs? Could do. I got pulsers for that reason. There's only one Mega Sloth that would be pissed off by that, but, you know, who cares what that one feels. Where's my trade caravan to Inlire, by the way? They are taking their sweet time to show up. Starting to deep freeze this now. The freezers are in. We just need the vents. The vents aren't like mission critical, but everything is also uh, double insulated in here. Just the way I designed it. Can I color code vents? I don't believe so, no. They're not uh, diable. A Imperial Trader from Glow World Empire. I don't recall calling you. I don't mind, but I don't think I paid for that. Uh, we got super fast wound healing and psychic death, so I didn't need it. That's a that's a toss out. Uh, next will be Sarai, our high mate. I waited so very long to get a high mate. So did I get something useful for Mevi? I did not. What about from Sarai? Rise it. I'm going to allow you to do this trade, even though you're not as good of a trader as Wendy, but uh, I want to use up your inspiration so you can get a different one. So the brand new one that I just scanned, I can get rid of it as long as it's gotten uh, banked. Go juice dependent and short haired, I can get rid of. Slow wound healing and heat weakness, I can get rid of. I think the brand new one that I just scanned is not banked yet. So I would have seen it. They don't seem to have anything else I want. Oh, they have fast. That's funny, because, you know, I was looking for that for, again, a while, and now here it is, and I don't need it. Uh, yeah, 
yeah, there's not a lot of money to be made here. So I guess that's it. Good enough. Still waiting on Inlier. Taking their sweet time to show up. So it's not quite cold enough in here uh, to dissuade bugs from spawning. It is lit, some of it. But I might want to wait for these coolers to work a bit more. They're uh, outgassing technically to an indoor area, but it's unroofed by 73 cells, so it's not um, that much of a risk of of being covered. Really? I don't even see... Oh, here's my exotic goods. What is the dimension? Oh, because this is open. So it's like, it's outgassing to this entire uh, giant mining tunnel complex. Okay, that makes sense then. Hey, Inlayer, welcome back. I'm sorry that, you know, actually, I'm not sorry. It was very enjoyable to prey on you for all of your dirt moles. But now that I have deep frozen those dirt moles and they're long forgotten, uh, let bygones be bygones and let trade commence. Oh, there we go. It's not negative 19 there now. It just needs to be below negative 17 Celsius, so it's good. It's bug. Well, it's not bug proof. They could still spawn adjacent and spill over, but at least it's as prepped as I can make it prepped. Uh, all right. <laughs> they have a toxalope. No thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. Hulk body and kilt thirst. That sounds very Wendigo, but like kilt thirst is actually more annoying than anything else. Pink. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to buy pink and I'm going to buy foam spray. Just feeling weird. I don't know whether or not Brizet has focus, but it's not too expensive, so I'll buy that as well. Oh, they even have an architect eye. I'm not gonna spring for it. I don't care to really invest further into my uh into my sheeple. But uh yeah. This was a good ally to have, because like all of a sudden I have a lot more um a lot more trade here, right? You know, these are opportunities I wouldn't have otherwise, so. Cool. Wendy already is fully architect, yeah. She has two eyes, two arms, two uh, legs. Don't get much better than that. All right, and Bryzik could use the focus, so. Awesome. So once this uh, caravan leaves, I might not even really wait for them to leave. I will accept the bug quest. So the bug quest is uh, 61 hives. That's going to be a lot of bugs. The only trouble with that, though, is accepting this in the middle of the summer does come with some unfortunate risk because butchering the bugs obviously can yield a ton of chem fuel, right? Obviously. But because it's warm out for the first time since ever, it's hovering right around freezing, uh, there's, a, there's a real big chance that the bugs will rot instead of actually be usable, which would be the worst timing to accept the bug quest. Oh, I don't, uh, I don't care about your carcinoma. You're a prisoner. Uh, psychic animal pulsar would anger them because, yeah, they do have animals. So I, I want them to pass on. Oh, look, they even have a dirt mole here. Want them to leave first. So I'm not penalized. Okay, yeah, it's it's very cold in there now. Good. The thing with the uh, the colder weather is like this is probably going to be for the next stream if I have to wait any longer, right? Because only got a few minutes left, and if I'm waiting for summer to pass for the full like six days, which would be ideal because then we'd be late summer where they're less likely to rot. Um, 
and is definitely not this stream. That's okay though, it can wait. SFC uh, Morgan, thank you for the uh, the resub for F FSCM. Sarai scan, one hour left. And I don't think I have another person that can hop in anytime soon. Yeah, everyone else's genes are still regrowing. Come on, give me great social. Just do it. It's a tiny chance, but just do it. Uh, heat weakness, psychic bonding, sheer white skin as a triple combo. Not something useful. But at least an attempt was made. So the oldest in the vats are 10 years old. So I'm not going to need to vote on them anytime soon. Yeah, I think just progressing time as fast as I can is probably the most productive thing I can do at the moment. I mean, one other obvious thing would be to design a bait box for the bugs. Uh, without even enabling the dev mode, the bugs are most likely to probably spawn in this area here, just from my experience, because this is the most mountainy and close to colony uh, buildings. They have a smaller chance to spawn like back here, but I doubt it. They could spawn like here and spill over into my f corpse freezer and ancient danger. And that's a very li high likelihood. Essentially the way it works is there's a heat map of, of possibility, and then it's just sort of randomed along those heat maps, and only one spot of that heat map needs to be valid, and then it will just fill in the rest of the hives around it. So it could just decide, for instance, that this is the valid spot for the uh, infestation. It's a very low likelihood, but it could decide that, oh, put center it here, and then all the hives are like outside in the open. Like that can happen. Um, only one spot needs to be valid. So anywhere where there's overhead mountain that isn't frozen is technically a valid spot. It's just way more likely if there's a lot of mountain around and way more likely if it's dark and way more and, and more likely if it's close to colony buildings because it's going to choose um, overhead mountain that's really far away from your colony. Like here is just not valid because it's, uh, it's not close to your colony and therefore not a threat. So if you want me to open up the heat map, let me uh, save first, because every now and then this gets weird. I just want to demonstrate the the, the chance, but, uh, but here we go. So if you want me to open up the heat map, that would be debug. No, 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 that's the wrong menu. Uh, what is that? The tweak values, view settings, uh, infestation chance. So here is it. Renders really slow, but yeah, this is pretty much exactly what I just calculated, right? It's technically, I know it's jumping around. It's just a, a lot to calculate. It's technically viable, like here, as you can see, it's slightly blue, but the most, the highest uh, viability is this area, exactly where I said. It's because it's the more mountainy. So if you sp if you picture the overhead mountain as like actual mountains, the more mountains you actually have, the more likely it is to have bugs under. So this is the most, this area is the one that has the highest density of mountain around it, therefore increases the chance for infestations. There's a slight infestation chance around, or not slight, like pretty decent infestation chance around the ancient danger, but the ancient danger and the corpse freezer has a zero chance because it's too cold. Um, there's a tiny chance in here and these uh, mining passages, but there's basically no chance over here because it's simply too far away from the colony structures. Uh, the same, like I said, up here, 
this has carries a zero percent chance just because it's nowhere close to my colony, and therefore it's it's not a valid spot to uh, to infest because it only is going to infest near your colony under overhead mountain, um, anywhere where it is negative sixteen Celsius or warmer, and more likely with mountains and darkness. So. If you want to remove the likelihood, you can deep freeze it. But if you can't afford to deep freeze it, you can illuminate it because lights will help to reduce the chance. But that's exactly what I said. I said, you know, this is the most likely area. And that's exactly what the game calculated, just because I, I know the rules. But um, but unfortunately, that is all the time I have. So that means uh, the prep for the bug quest is going to continue into next stream. But I will do it. Um, Scout's honor. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld The First Wendigo, which originally streamed live on Twitch June 14th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Wendigos.